JMC presents Studio Talk Second Series Second Series Number 4 It's the 3rd of January 2021 and it's getting on to half past 4 in the afternoon and uh, this time I thought that instead of talking away and going on and about my situation and promising to s say things about art which I end up not saying or when I do I leave a lot of stuff out it's just not very systematic and uh, I'm sorry about that but uh, this is not a lecture this is a talk which uh, is um, makes a difference and so as I said for a change of pace uh, I'm going to play my piece Aria für, Aria für Harmonica and um, this is to be played on a keyboard which is really not the greatest instrument uh, it makes a lot of noise. I mean, hitting the keys, I can hear it when I record it. And um, then I use this funky kind of sounds with the sustain pedal just to kind of create um, an all round sound. So let's see. I'm going to play this, uh, checking the time. Okay. So, uh, where am I going to put this? So, uh, this, is a, this is an experiment. I've never played it on my knees before. Uh, this is supposed to be sustaining. It is not sustaining, which means that somehow the switch was moved and I don't remember moving it this happens from time to time so I'm gonna make a, a cleaner version of this but I feel like doing this now yeah so you see the sustain uh, unfortunately you do not it, you lose the differentiation in the notes like especially the bass
So that was Aria Philharmonica. And um, you can see it's not, it's not easy, uh, especially the, the breathing. I'm not a, in, a wind instrument player. And um, as I've already said in previous videos, but if you haven't seen them, I'll say it again. Uh, the harmonica, the aria for harmonica, this is um, a hidden dedication to uh, Monica, my dear, dear, dear departed companion. And um, yeah, that explains the, uh, the soulful um, tone. And um, so I uh, listened to the other videos, looked at the other videos, uh, and uh, started uploading um, the first the first series videos, uh, a choice of videos from the first series uh, to YouTube. But um, in the videos that I did today, you know, like I said, I realized that I'm kind of beating around the bush a lot, and this is a lot uh, what it looks like in 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 my mind. Um, the moments when it really gets uh, focused and I'm talking only about art or specific aspect of it or, or only about my thinking and so on and so forth. This is rare. This is, you know, like it just like comes together um, like a landscape with fog and all of a sudden it clears here and the sun shines and there you see something and then it, <laughs> it fogs up again. This is a lot of what it's like. So. I think I'll do specific um, videos or videos specifically for certain works to show them and to explain them. And uh, behind me is um, a poster size print of the so called Philosopher Meditation by Rembrandt, which is actually a picture of uh, Tobit and Anna waiting for the return of their son who's also called Tobit and sometimes Tobias, I don't know. Anyway, Tobit and Anna. And this is a painting I've been working on, researching, studying, and so uh, meditating on, of course, also for, the, for many years, almost 40 years, actually. And um, not the whole time, naturally. And um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out, like, where did Rembrandt get the idea for this unique staircase in um, in a Netherlandish art, in Dutch art. You do not see, a, you see a lot of staircases, including helical staircases, but not one as well integrated into a composition as this. This, um, this is like a miracle. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on in this painting, uh, that it has less to do with philosophy than with blindness than with um, filial piety and of course the um, the miraculous intervention or miraculous divine intervention through the archangel archangel uh, Raphael who helps Tobit uh, heal <laughs> Tobit the son heal his father of his blindness but this is I'll do uh, videos on this in particular I light it from behind this is why it looks so so good I hope and um, I've got a few minutes left and um, yes uh, uh, these videos were in the first place for me they were like I said um, an, an opportunity to get out of the chaos in my mind and to uh, formulate a few clear sentences even if uh, the context is not always clear. I don't always get to the point and so on. Uh, but I mean, I was thinking um, that that uh, here this video is art and I am an art figure in a sense. Uh, I'm a living person, a living person who um, uh, claims to be an artist who or claims to be speaking in the name of art this is very important so I'm an art I'm an art figure I'm not a, uh, into the politics of it I'm not into the uh, selling uh, part of things and so the commercial so I'm into the 
the uh, well let's say well, of course the philosophical aspects of it and so it should be possible to conceive of me as a figure and um, with a name JMC it doesn't matter if it's um, if you know my real name or not really I'm a figure I've got a name I've got a life here in my apartment and studio uh, in a small town in the southwest part of Germany, 